Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you this Cree 60 watt incandescent replacement LED bulb. Now this one only takes 9.5 watts and this is Cree's original design, well pretty much original. Uh, I previously looked at the 4Flow designed LED bulbs and decided to pick up one of these more original designed ones that they had before the 4Flow design came out. This one is soft white. I forgot to pick up a daylight version, so all we have here is the soft white version. When you see the packaging is pretty basic and gets right to the point. It tells you it replaces a 60 watt incandescent bulb and takes only 9.5 watts. We can see the lumen output and an indication saying that this is a dimmable bulb. Opening it up, we find more information about the bulb itself. Pause if you'd like to read any of it. So according to this, it says tear here to open, so let's go ahead and do that. Well, you know what? Let's just tear everything open, apparently. Well, that's no good anymore. Okay, so there's the bulb itself. Let's throw that over there too. Now one of the things that I instantly notice with one of these bulbs is that there is a rubbery coating on them and it's very interesting. I don't know if they put it on there for shock resistance or for if the glass breaks it holds itself together. Um, kind of like a rough service bulb. But it's very interesting, it has a rubbery coating on it, or it could also be used just to help diffuse the light. So, inside we can faintly see the internals of the heat sink there and the LEDs that are attached to it. Down here this part is plastic and this part right here is all metal. Of course we have real glass and it isn't plastic. We can see the Cree logo and get more information about the bulb here on the back. On the top we can get information about the bulb as well. We can see it's 2700K warm white or soft white, 120 volt, and all that other happy stuff. So let's go ahead and screw it into our socket here. Turn off our main light and let's give it a whirl normally. So, just like with any other LED bulb, it comes to full brightness right away. There's no 60 hertz flicker that I can see, or the camera's picking up either. So you can see from the top what it looks like. You can see the dark spot there in the middle where the heat sink is. And you can see the ring of the LEDs that are attached around it. I really like the design of these bulbs, just because of how it looks like a frosted incandescent bulb with a C-shaped filament. Very interesting. So let's go ahead and turn our main light back on and turn this bulb off. We will go ahead and screw in our dimmer here. This is a regular incandescent dimmer, not a specialty dimmer for LEDs. So we will see how it handles that. Let's turn it all the way to bright. And we'll turn it on. Let's go ahead and slowly dim it. And it kind of goes out right towards the end there. Let me go ahead and turn off our main light. Let's dim it to right about where it turns off. Okay, let me get it down there one more time. So it's right about here is where it is about to turn off, and I'd say that equals a little less than a 4 watt nightlight bulb. So it gets pretty dim. It's hard to tell on camera or light anything up with it. But you can see here it is, it's a pretty dim, is how dim it can get. Of course we will brighten it back up and it's more than happy to do that. We can get to full brightness. Now on a dimmer, there is definitely a hum that comes from this bulb. It sounds kind of like a regular incandescent being dimmed, but a little bit more noticeable. Okay, so let's turn it all the way on again. I'm going to turn it off. Let's go ahead and unscrew that. Let's screw in 
our adapter here. We will go ahead and make a little comparison here with a regular 60 watt incandescent bulb. If we attempt to line up these bases here, we can see it's just a tad taller than a regular incandescent. So we're going to go ahead and screw in our LED on one side and our incandescent on the other. And let's go ahead and make sure it's at full brightness and turn it on. So you can see a nice little comparison here of it being compared to a basic GE 60 watt incandescent bulb with a vertical filament. Both are equally as bright, most definitely. I'd say the incandescent is a little bit more harsher on the eyes just because there isn't much of a coating there. So let's go ahead and dim it to see how well it dims with an incandescent. So we're slowly dimming it down. And just like an incandescent is, it'll dim down a lot quicker and get a lot dimmer than the LED. So if you're trying to get an incandescent this dim, and you're trying to find an LED that matches that, you're going to have a really hard time. But the incandescent is almost out, and we still have the LED on. Oh, and they both go out at the same time, so that's pretty good. They both go out at the same time. But it definitely does not get that dim, as you can tell. I can actually get it, oh... I thought I could get just a tad dimmer, but it tries to equal the same brightness as you would with a normal dimmer of an incandescent, but it definitely does not get that dim, obviously. So let's turn it all the way up again. There we go. It does have really good light distribution, surprisingly, even though with that uh, light bump there at the top. Doesn't seem to get too warm. Of course, if I grabbed that, I'd uh, get my hand very hot. So anyway, we go ahead and turn on our main light here again and dim this down. I really hope you enjoyed this video of my Cree 9.5 watt LED bulb. Also, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.